Hi group D, this is Mrs. Slagle and we're on lesson 22 of SIPS. Make sure you have your binders. We'll be reading the story together later. Lesson 22. We're going to start with some listening games. We're going to say a word, then drop the beginning sound. Say cram, drop k word. Yes, ram. Say clip, drop k. What's left? Yes, lip. Say clam, drop k. What's left? Yes, lamb. Say crane, drop k. What's left? Rain. Say cream, drop k. What's left? That's correct, ream. Say clean, drop k. What's left? Yes, lean. Okay, we have two new sounds today. Here's our sentence. It's fair play. A, A. Read with me. It's fair play. A, I says A and A, Y says A. A. Okay, let's review all of our sounds. Read. Sorry. Sound. 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 Sound, 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 sound. Okay. Here are some of our decodable words. I'll say ready, you read the word in your mind, and then we'll read in sounds. Ready, read, sounds. Ready, read, sounds. Ready, read. Sounds. Ready? Read. Sounds. Magic E. Ready? Read. Sounds. Ready? Read, sounds. Ready, read, sounds. Ready, read, sounds. We're going to read some longer words, but we're going to practice reading words by their syllables. How many syllables in butter? Butter. There's two. We read the first part. But. 
ter. When you say the word butter, you only hear one T though. Here's a longer word. Ready? Read by the syllables. Read. Good. Here's another word. We're going to read by the syllables. There's the first two syllables. Cheap er. Read. Ready? Read. Ready? Read. Okay, good job. We look at those longer words and we read by the syllables, looking at those chunks of letters in a word. Okay, we have two new sight words. Here's our sentences that go with our sight words. There is one woman at the bus stop. Read it with me. Ready, read. There is one woman at the bus stop. It's our sight word. Woman. Here's our next sight word. Listen. The women talked together. Read with me. Ready, read. The women talked together. Women and woman. Okay. Here we go. This word is woman. Read. Spell. Read. Spell. Read. Here's the next one, they look very similar. Women, read, spell. Read, spell, read. Let's review all of our words, our sight words that just pop into our brain. Ready, read, read, read. Read, 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 read. Let's get ready to read our story. Lesson 22, The Firefighters, Chapter 3, Back from the Fire. In Chapter 3 of The Firefighters, we'll see what the firefighters do when they return to the station. The questions that we'll be answering when we're done reading are follow, following. What jobs did the firefighters do before they could rest? We'll be listening for that answer. And also, what did they do after they finished their jobs? So what did they do before they could rest? and what did they do after they did their jobs. Okay, go ahead and read with me. Pointing to the title, ready, read. The Firefighters, Chapter Three, Back from the Fire. Ready, read. The firefighters rode back from the fire. Rose backed the truck in. She parked so she would not have to back out for the next fire. Backing out takes too much time. Ready, read. They felt tired, but they could not stop to rest yet. First, they had to clean up to be ready for the next call. Ready, read. 
They checked the first aid kit. They got the used air tanks off the truck and put on full ones. Ready, read. Jack cleaned the smoke and dirt off of the axe and fans. Vic and Lee put clean spare hoses on the truck. Ready, read. At last they could rest. Ready, read. We did a great job today, said Rose. Ready, read. Let's eat, said Lee. Ready, read. It's your turn to make the meal, said Vic. Ready, read. Lee and Rose fixed pork, beef, and other meat. They heated up greens, corn, and peas. They served beans and cheese in a large dish. The meal was ready and everyone sat down. After all that work, they liked to eat. Ready, read. Then they watched TV and played games. When bedtime came, they put their turn out pants next to their beds. If the fire bell rang again, they would wake up, pull their pants on fast, and run to the trucks. First question. Question one. What jobs did the firefighters do before they could rest? Go ahead and pause the video. Get your pencil and underline the text evidence the words that tell us that answer. I found it on the first page, second paragraph. First, they had to clean up to be ready for the next call. And then I underline the following sentences. They checked the first aid kit. They got the used air tanks off the truck and put on full ones. Also, I underlined Jack cleaned the smoke and dirt off of the axe and fans. And I also underlined Vic and Lee put clean spare hoses on the truck. There's lots of jobs they have to do before they rest. Okay. Question number two. What did they do after they finished their jobs? Okay, go ahead and pause the video and look for the text evidence that you can underline to answer that question. Okay, I found several things that they did after they did their, their jobs. Um, I found um, the sentence that says, let's eat. Said Lee, that gives me information. I know that it's time to eat. And I also know that they watch TV and play games. So I underline that information in my story. All right, please make sure to reread your story two times. Also read other stories and make sure you're reading for 20 minutes. All right, have a great day.